Hey friends, it's Dwight. Welcome back to my studio. I'm going to be doing a pour today on a 24 by 36 canvas. And I'm going to be using a repurposed canvas, which means uh, I've already poured on it, but yet it didn't quite turn out the way I had hoped. And so I'm going to reuse it and pour over it again. Just a little trick to the trade. If you do that, what I tend to do is I tend to wet in the back again, just to get it extra tight. Um, so sometimes that tightens it up even tighter than it was when I poured on it originally. So that's something to keep in mind if you're going to reuse a canvas is that you can still spray it and mist it on the back. Uh, if you want, you can use a light heat gun. That's what I do. Um, just a little bit, just to tighten it up. Okay, so I'm going to be using that brand of paints I mentioned last time. I think it's called Got a Deal, if I'm saying it correctly. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a close-up of how I mix my paints. I've been getting questions recently about how do I mix my paints. And I often say, if you watch my videos, you know, one part paint, two, three parts flow trawl, drizzle, a Liquitex pouring medium, and water to thin. So what I'm going to do today is just actually show you when I mix one of the colors up, how I do that. So I'm going to get up, get things set up here in my studio and get things ready, and we'll get going in just a minute. Okay, guys, here I am. Um, as you can see, it's my color palette here. And what I'm going to do is start with one color. So I'll tell you what I have. I have, I don't know if you can see this, deep pearl brown. I have raw umber. I have burnt sienna. And last but not least, I have burnt umber. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the burnt umber and I am going to uh, mix it up for you and show you how I mix my paints. So I don't pre-measure my paints. Now years ago I used to, when I say one part paint, two to three parts flow trawl, that's like a suggestion. It's an idea of what I am actually um, using. I don't, like I said, I don't measure it because um, you can be, you know, you can be generous with that. So that's just a little bit of paint. Um, as you can see, not much in there. I'm going to lighten it up. So I'm going to put some Artist Loft Soft Body White just a little bit to lighten it up. Okay. Again, just a little bit. Um, here's my Liquitex pouring medium. Yeah, I had some paint flying in the room the other day, so it's covered. So I just do a little drizzle. I don't know if you can see that. That's about it. And then, you know, I recycle, so I, I reuse my plastic cups. That's why it's so dirty. But um, this is my flow trawl, and it's all strained. And what I do is I just pour it in. They're probably right about there. Um, then I'm going to give it a quick stir, and probably going to have to add some water to it. So let's just see how this works. Yeah. So I'm, like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing a neutral palette today. So I want my browns and I want some light browns and some dark browns. So this is a nice sort of medium brown. So you can see how thick it is. Stir, stir, and stir. Okay, so next I just add my water. It's just right out of a cup. Keep stirring it to make sure it all gets mixed up. The other thing to think about when you're stirring is making sure you scrape the bottom. Sometimes I've left some paint on the bottom and it comes out like a big blop onto my canvas. And that really frustrates me. So this looks like chocolate pudding, so that's good. Still a little too thick, so I'm gonna add some more water. And that might be just enough. Okay. A little bit more of a stir. And then we'll take a look. Yeah, that's just about right. Can you see that? Basically, it has a very slight mound, but it basically goes in. So that's basically all I do. Um, I don't add any, any other additives to it. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna mix the rest of my paints up, then I'll show you what they look like when we're done, and um, we'll catch up with you in just a second. Okay guys, here I am. I've mixed all my paints. As you can see, it's a relatively neutral palette. Um, this dark 
sort of brown and this are the same color. I added white to that. That was my demonstration color. And then this burnt umber, I added white to as well. So it made it sort of this um, lighter brown. Artist Loft Soft Body White. This is the brown pearl. And that's the, um, what is that? That's the burnt sienna. Okay. And there's my Artist Loft Soft Body um, Black um, mixed as my dump paint. And there is my colander. I have that black cup there because I always strain my paints, especially the black paint. Sometimes I've had a lot of lumps in there and it doesn't do very well when I'm tilting. It ends up creating what I call caterpillars. Um, instead of a round cell, you get this elongated cell that kind of squiggles down the canvas. Okay guys, I'm gonna check the consistencies one more time and then we're gonna set things up and we're gonna get started. Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back here in my studio. That was about, actually about 45 minutes. I think it's pretty much done at this point. Um, I'm kind of impressed with it. I was surprised all this white came in. I'm really glad it did because I was afraid it was going to be a little too dark. Um, let me walk over here. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, so interesting. Interesting cells all around. Um, Interesting shapes over here. Not too sure I like the color of those. That was that sort of muddy brown that I placed on the bottom. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go. So I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I will come back. Let me see here. I'm just kind of getting close up here for you. Yeah. 
I do like this brand of paint. I think it works really well with um, this type of a pour. Um, we'll just have to see how things dry. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna let this sit overnight, hopefully it dries between now and then. And then I'll come back and we'll discuss if I wanna do anything with that muddy paint color there. I might, I might, I might do something, I don't know. Okay, a lot to think about. Okay guys, have a great, um, well, I can say great evening, but it'd be about great five seconds before the next clip comes up. And um, I will show you um, the final results. Okay, guys, it's the next day. Let's see how this looks. Um, welcome to my studio, my small little place, my messy little place, but it's my place. So it looks good. Um, turn the overhead light on. It dried pretty much, it dried like I left it yesterday. So nothing out of the ordinary happened. Um, I was glad for that. Had a few concerns here and there, but I think um, this is great. Now, I was gonna show you just a kind of a quick video, um, part of the tutorial of how I touch up um, some of these cells around the negative space. However, um, I'm not gonna do that because it's wet and I'm going to be working pretty much this week and then heading out of town and I wanted to get this video out for you guys so you can see. But I will show you what I'm talking about to give you an idea. So I know there's a glare because the paint is wet all sort of through here. It's almost dry. But what I wanted to do, and I, I, I'll try to figure it out, but some of these cells that are sort of elongated, um, like some of these over here and here, um, maybe right in there, just trim them back just enough to round them. That's all, nothing more, you know, nothing less, just simply rounding them. Um, I'm not going to dot any of them like I do sometimes because of the um, the color and I think it would look like way too obvious. So up against the black, I think this looks good. Um, and you'll leave as is. So like even in here, some of the, see that right in here, I may just sort of round it. And then, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see because I don't want to do too much. I don't want to make it look too obvious. Um, but I do want to have some symmetry, especially around the negative space. So some of this is fine. You know, just like I said, trim some of these back, just, just round them. Um, maybe round these two here, maybe this one here. I'm not sure. And that's about it. So the other thing is, is I decided that the orientation that I would like is this way. Um, I know sometimes, or most of my paintings, it seems like my negative space is on this side. Um, but there's something about this I like. Um, so this is how I'm probably going to orient it if I were to hang it um, on the wall or in a gallery. This was the other direction. That looks good too, but there's something about the other way I think is a little bit more dramatic, especially because there's some light, lighter stuff down here. And it looks like everything's flowing in that direction. So, okay, guys, that's about it. Um, yeah, I think I probably won't get to a painting for quite a while, maybe next Monday, because I'm going to be out of town this weekend. Um, we'll see. If I have some time before then, I'll try to do a painting, but it looks like my work schedule is pretty, pretty busy. So thanks for watching, and once again, if you have any questions, ask in the notes below, or you can email me at dwightpours at yahoo.com. Um, and just be patient with me. Sometimes I don't check my emails as much as I do, obviously, sort of my... Um, YouTube notes and emails. So I'll get to you as soon as I can and um, we'll chat with you soon and thanks for watching.